I'm Mike with Flamin Sales and today we're having a look at the 8x41 XTA Auger. This unit has the black tube as well as the red undercarriage. Some of the features that you're going to notice with the AGI XTA augers is the double edge flighting on the lower edge. This is a, approximately a 16 inch piece of flighting that has a double edge so that's going to improve the longevity of that flighting. This is a self-propelled unit and what we've got is the controls all up front at the lower end of the auger for ease of walking beside it while you're moving it from bin to bin. We also have a linkage down here that will control our gearbox. So we have a reversing gearbox on this unit. So we can put it into neutral, we can put it in forward, we can also put it in reverse. You'll also see down here towards uh, the end on a magnet is our electric clutch switch. So that's how we're gonna turn the auger on and off. And that's in a convenient location, you have lots of extra wire. So you're able to use that switch from anywhere. You'll see the winch, which is a gear driven winch, lots of power, makes that auger go up and down smoothly. And we've got our two caster wheels for moving the unit. How we would turn this auger left or right is just by using our body weight and we can shift that unit wherever we want it to go. If we want it to go left, we just, uh, we just pull it. If we want it to go right, we just push it. So it's very easy to use. Keep coming along here and you'll see the very robust and heavy duty frame that uh, makes up this XTA auger. This is uh, a new newer frame and uh, AGI has been doing it for a couple of years now. Um, and it's, uh, it's proven very well transporting long distances down the highway and what have you. It, uh, it, you know, you're not going to have any failing of the, of the uh, undercarriage parts. This particular unit has a 35 horse Vanguard engine. This is a carbureted engine. This engine is uh, a good size engine for an 8x41 auger. It'll do whatever you need to do to get the job done. Continuing on, we see the very large fuel tank that AGI installs on these augers. Uh, this is a 45 liter fuel tank, so you've got lots of hours of operation before you have to fill it again. Top of the auger, you're going to notice the drive shaft. These are hollow tubes. The drive shaft is actually inside of this. Uh, wood bushings on a, on a double sandwiched uh, bearing housing. And the shaft goes all the way up to the chain drive. And that's an inch and a quarter shaft down at the gearbox as well as up at the chain drive, a robust inch and a quarter shaft. If you'd like more information, contact your local Flamin store, give us a call and we'll help you out. You can also visit us online at www.flamin.com.